fitting thing to do than to have a golf tournament on my dad's name and give the proceeds to someone else. Uh, Clark Anderson's dad gave his life to the real estate business in this county. And he's been a friend of mine. We used to have work together when we were kids. And I care about him a lot. And he has a perpetual scholarship fund in his dad's name, and it's not full. And we wanted to fill it up, and hopefully we will today. Uh, we were trying to raise $13,000. I can't tell you for sure if we did, but I think we're close. So every dollar you give gets us closer, because it's going to be really, really, really close. We want to fill up the William F. Anderson Scholarship Fund, Perpetual Scholarship Fund, so that every year in the future, William F. Anderson uh, gives a scholarship uh, on behalf of the Contra Costa Association. Oh, yeah, Rachel Hamm, let's do the Healthy Hands right now. Uh, so the dunk tank was for Helping Hands. Helping Hands, uh, what are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> Helping Hands is for the real estate community, our affiliates, uh, and all those that we interact with, as well as the people in our community, whenever there is a catastrophic occurrence, it's a benevolent fund for those occurrences. If somebody was to get ill or need just some general help to just get through a hard time. So um, that's what it's for. And the dump tank did really well. I appreciate all of you spending your time throwing the ball and letting us antagonize you all. It was a lot of fun. Um, sorry, I'm a lot more cool block than you guys are. But uh, we raised $555. I've actually been given the very high honor of saying a few words about Glenn Langston. And I want to apologize up front if while speaking about Glenn, I happen to say Dean. But uh, that might be for two reasons. One, because Dean's a really good friend of mine. But two, today, Dean embodies the beliefs and values that Glenn held so precious and carries his legacy is a true testament to Glenn, and I know Glenn would be really proud and honored. So let's give a shout out to Dean. As many of you may know, uh, Glenn died on Valentine's Day. And it's so fitting that on a day that we're all thinking about love, that we can also think about the memory of Glenn Langston. Because not only did Glenn love in a very big way, but he was loved by so many. And that love and his charitable spirit continues to live on in events like this. Uh, it's hard for me to believe that it's actually been over seven years since Glenn's passing because on a daily basis, I see his impact and his loving and charitable spirit in almost everything we do as an industry and in so many people within this community. This golf tournament is just one example of how Glenn continues to have an impact on our lives. On a weekly basis, I continue to see Glenn through the influence in the marketing meetings at CCRIM and RMA. And whether it was in the boardrooms of CCAR or the bar rooms of Danville, <laughs> he always made a good impression and had a positive influence in people's lives and on important decisions being made. I'm sure all you know him have dozens if not hundreds of memories of Glenn. But for me, the one that stands out is seeing Glenn at a marketing meeting or at some social setting such as this, and seeking out someone new to the gathering or new to the area and making them feel welcome. He was always willing to share his gift of a big smile, an extended hand, or a warm hug. And he always had a positive word of encouragement to someone who needed a lift or was feeling a little lost. So I'd ask to do a favor for all of you who knew Glenn to pay this gift forward. Anytime you see someone who needs a lift or is feeling a little lost, Greet them with a warm smile, a handshake and a hug, and make them feel like they count, like Glenn always did. I'll leave you with one final thought. I was privileged to have worked with Glenn on a number of boards and committees over the years. And it always seemed that no matter what the issue, big or small, Glenn's solution to the problem was, let's have a party. <laughs> so I know seeing you all having a great time for a great cause tonight, that Glenn would be smiling. So let's carry on Glenn's legacy and make him proud by continuing to party tonight and every day of our lives. Thank you. And again, this is from Sharon Diaz, our Chief Executive Officer. Clark and Dean, thank you for the invitation to join you at the golf tournament dinner. Regretfully, I will be at a memorial service Friday evening. I wanted to share my thoughts with you regarding your fathers, both of whom I had a great fondness for and held in the highest regard. 
As I thought about how I might pay tribute to them, it occurred to me how benefiting it is to have the Glen Langston Memorial Golf Tournament to raise funds for the CCAR Scholarship Foundation, William F. Bill Anderson Perpetual Scholarship. While both Bill and Glenn contributed greatly to CCAR, they were very much, they were very such very different people. There were, they were an important part of the very brick and mortar upon which CCAR has been able to build its success in the culture that we at CCAR experience today. Bill laid many of the important bricks that we, have, that we use as a foundation to build upon. He was a visionary even back then. He served on a great number of committees and as president at CCAR he helped to establish marketing meetings that we all go to, set up investment policies, and so much more at the local level. At the state level, many at CAR today will still commend his contributions when his name is mentioned in remembrance. Glenn was the mortar, providing much of the glue that holds these bricks together. He gave much of himself through his volunteerism and support of the association in its events in many causes. He contributed greatly to the family spirit at CCAR that is enjoyed by many today and by his fostering of relationships and networking. We owe them both so very much. To live on in the hearts and minds of those we leave behind is not to die. And Clark and Dean, you both are carrying on their legacies in such a wonderful way that I have to thank you both as well. And that was from Sharon Diaz, our Chief Operating.